Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Um, and if you saw the very last video I posted, I did the corrected version of this. And by corrected, I mean I did the foregrip like I wanted it. I did the front sides like I wanted it. I did the um, slope off the back here like I wanted it. I did the slope off here like I wanted it. So the last video was basically this, but in a more finished version with the correct bricks. Because I don't have the correct bricks to finish this one. But as you can see, this is a 20 millimeter grenade launcher. It is a, you can say it's like a pump action. Basically, all I've created is a thumper. Basically, all I created was a thumper that I, I turned it into a bullpup, basically. So, as you can see, this entire gray part right here, this is the entire magazine where these grenades fit into it. This is the bolt where you pull it back to shell eject one and to cock the weapon. This is the foregrip. There's no trigger on it, unfortunately, because of the way it was designed. Um, as you can see, the flip up iron sights. And then you have the yeah, you have the trap door. Um, I might make instructions for this, by the way. Just gonna throw that out there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and load this. So, so now that it's loaded, and the trap door is here just in case it jams, uh, sometimes you'll notice this round, it likes to go up like that, so to get it out of there you just push down after opening the trap door, like so, and then, okay that wasn't intentional, this one's intentional though. And it shell ejects. Um, you can do one at a time or both at a time. Uh, sorry, it's just jammed. There we go. No, it's not. Um, so, as I was saying, you can do one shell at a time or both shells at a time. Depends on your preference. Okay, then we're going to go back to. Alright, I'm going to do this as hard as I can. In order to eject one shell at a time with the second one in there, you have to make it grind up against um, the back right there so that it stops the um, first shell inside the chamber. Like so. Let me just clear that. And then the... Alright guys, perfect case. The second shell is jammed like so. You can see that it's at an angle. So you simply push down on the trap door, and then it comes right out, like so. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the features of this. So as you can see, we have the stock and the cheap pad up here. Um, we have these blue things on here just to break up the fact that there's a bunch of holes underneath it. It's only held on by two of those gray stud side pieces. Whatnot. Same on this side. You have this bar right here as a safety for the um, trap door. And then you can see down into the um, magazine well. Close the safety. The magazine well gets loaded in from behind there. And it goes up to here. And then you have your charging handle on both sides. It's, so it's almost ambidextrous basically. Actually this gun is ambidextrous because it unloads via the back. So this gun is ambidextrous, can be shot by anybody, and, god, this isn't working, charging handle got stuck, that's how that works, and then the top rail here, if you saw in the LDD model, there is an actual rail, but this one doesn't have one, then you have the flip up sights, like so. I wish I could put marks in there, but the way the gun was built, I can't. Then you have the front foregrip, which... Oh God, if I can get it... Works like so. So I'm actually holding the gun only solely off of the foregrip. Like so, I'm gonna put the front iron down, the front sight down like it's supposed to be. And as you can see, that is the weapon in first person. 
should probably flip up the sides to do that. Looking down the sides like so. So yeah, this weapon is basically, like I said, a thumper, but made so that you have a charging handle instead of a pump-action shotgun. And it's also a bullpup, so it's a lot smaller. Because my hand is theoretically in front of the firing tube, which is back here. So yeah, uh, I really like this model. I'll make instructions if you guys want, but if I'm going to make instructions, I need at least 1,000 views on this, because... Um, to be honest guys, this took me 20 minutes to make, and the only reason it only took me 20 minutes is because I have a bunch of these little pegs that you see there, and I have about 150 of them all over this model. You can see almost all of them on the outsides, but there's a lot inside of this model, and they're a pain in the butt to, um, take apart and do a video tutorial on. So, like I said, 1,000 views on this video, and I will make instructions for you guys, um, just yeah so that's basically it for this model as I said it's just a bullpup 20 millimeter grenade launcher that's a pretty cool design because it shell ejects